I grew up in a village in southwestern Uganda, 10 hours away from the city. We were making everything from scratch. You would see a plane in the air, but you never even dream of touching it. If you want it, you make it. As an artist, you are a reflection of your society. What social problems are affecting my people? Uganda is the beautiful country. But people started throwing around all this trash, all this plastic, and they have no recycling. I started making crazy sculptures. People started looking at my work and relating it with the environment because I was saying, oh, the plastics are harmful to our country. If people realize it's trash that is making it, then they start thinking about reusing, they start thinking about how much they're consuming, how much they have. My project is to create an eco-art, environmental amusement park for children. When people start talking, having discussions about your work, then it's making a point. We are using the waste that is in our community to create a home for the future. Thank you so much. I have won the third prize for City 2.0. My idea was to make a playground for children living in slums in Kampala, which is my city. The material was so cheap, it's waste. Nobody wants it. I can use it to create a playground. And the rewards that I've got after that, they are immense. The look that you see in these children's eyes when they are playing, it opens so much hope. Every time you see people who are in conditions that are not so good, but there's something that makes them happy. When I came to Macaul Center, I wanted to create a situation where children could wonder and think about the possibilities of creating things. And Macaul connected me to the Double Ox Masonic Center, where we were doing a workshop with children on creation. I wanted them to know that they, it's possible to create. The moment I walk in, and I say, this is my jacket. And they did you make it? I'm like, yes, I made it. It's so curious. Can you make one for me? I'm like, no, I'm not making for you. You are making for yourself. If you're in my class, that's what we do, right? And the children were so excited by the idea that this was their time to create things. And that's where the power of connecting art to a community comes alive. I think this is one of the main things that I've appreciated being at McCall Center of Art and Innovation. They dream with me and see how possible we're we going to make it. And boom, they all make it happen. The playground celebrates the life cycle of a butterfly. So it has a space where we're looking at the different stages in which a butterfly goes through. So we have the eggs, we have the larva, the caterpillar, and the butterfly. Every child learns about this idea in class at school. The eggs can be represented by a garden. That is the laying process. So we made this garden with the eggs on it. And then we made a sitting area, which is a reading area. And then we looked at the caterpillar, and then I say, oh, maybe we can use tires. So we got tires from different recycling centers. And then lastly, we get the masterpiece of the project, which is the living sculpture of the butterfly. And I'm so glad we came to realize this vision and made it possible. To my core center of art and all its supporters and the people who have made it grow into such a space. Thank you so much. I'm forever grateful for the love from Charlotte. And my call is so glad to be in Charlotte. 
Otherwise, I will take it to Uganda. Yeah, <laughs>